Hello everybody, welcome back. This is episode number 28 of the Amber Army YouTube's Championship Manager 0102 Retro Series with Aston Villa. And there we go, we got the League Cup semi-final away leg first as well, which gives us a bit of an advantage. We got that coming right up, plus two winnable Premier League games, West Ham home and then Crystal Palace away um, in the league at the moment. We're in sixth, uh, we've taken back over Leeds, but um, Sunderland are hot on our tails also. We need to start drumming up some points. If we can get maximum Premier League points, say West Ham are there. Crystal Palace are there. We got West Ham at home. We got Crystal Palace away. We got an opportunity to get maximum points. We can end this episode on forty-four points, where I think we'll be sitting around about fifth place at the end of it. Plus, it would be nice for it to be the perfect episode as well because our journey in the League Cup. We want that to continue into the final, and we want to give ourselves the edge, taking Newcastle back to our place. So, without further ado, let's get the first game underway. So here we are, we're at St James's Park, ready to go. There's our team. Um, Hagen's playing again with West. Robinson's back at left back. Kurt is back in at right back. Olise's back in with Sabea. Ishizaki because uh, uh, Bakirogu's still eight. Makini because Bergstrom is still eight. Uh, Chutos is eight. Um, Tony and Vassal will start up front, but I've got Stefan Moore, 19 year old, coming up from our reserves for a quick little look just to see what he can offer if we do find the opportunity to bring him on he's scored six goals so far this season decent average rating and um, our coaches have been raving about him all season Anthony McNamee you'll re remember he's the potential future star we picked up from Watford so uh, there we go how about we push this forward guys and uh, get the game underway Newcastle looking for goals. Let's hope they don't find any. So we withhold the early pressure. They're coming out of the blocks really hard. And we've got a penalty and they're down to 10 men. That's going to certainly help us. Come on, stick it away, Sabia. Yes! Made up for his penalty miss the other day by scoring. And now he's made up for it by actually getting a penalty in the net, into the net. So that is a fantastic start. Perfect, exactly what we want. Getting the man advantage and, and a goal in front. Got an opportunity to put ourselves in a fantastic position come the second leg. But we can't slip up, we can't think we've won it because of that though. We have to maintain a, a, a high intensity in this match. Ooh. Okay, so it's just over half hour into the game and uh, we haven't really done much it's still been an even game even with uh, the extra man but we do have the lead there's another penalty Sabea puts the other one away Newcastle might feel a bit hard done by, but it, did, it usually comes up and says when it's a bad decision, and none of them have been bad decisions so far. So 2-0 up at half time, really good. It may be an op it may give us an opportunity to bring on our youngsters to see what they can offer. So Bayer's on a hat trick now. Robinson puts it away. 3 0. Yes. One foot in the final, surely. Because we don't concede any now. Tony almost adding to that now. Let's get the youngsters. What am I looking at Newcastle for? Let's get the youngsters on, shall we? So, Vassal could do the coming off for Stafford Moore. Anthony McNamee for Ishizaki swapping with Bakini. And there we go. 
see the players are looking extremely fresh at the moment because they are playing against 10 men they don't have to work as hard although I'd like to see them working as hard Stefan Moore looking for a, a debut goal unlucky Bring the time down a little bit with another sub. I don't think off sub here. On a hat trick. Leave him on. And what a great start to the episode, guys. Absolutely great. I know we played it the most of the game against ten men, but still we still had to put the the penalties away, we still had to take our chances. And we did. And they were still knocking at our door. So yeah, really happy with that guys, I'll see you at the next game. Here we go guys, game time again now, second game of the episode, uh, Melberg's back in we'll, and we'll take the armband because he's officially the club captain, he's back in because West is injured, uh, Bakiroglu is back and um, Ishizaki moved down on the bench, um, Hendry is injured so uh, or suspended I think, so he can't be on the bench either so... Um, Matt and Ishizaki are the midfielders on the bench. Crouch takes the bench place because Stefan Moore is suspended. He must have done something wrong while he was in the reserves. So here we go. Obviously, uh, Chutos is still injured at the moment, which is why he doesn't take a place on the bench either. Yes! Great start. Great start for three massive, massive points if we can if we can keep hold of it. Oh, I thought Tony was going to get another one then. So Bayer in a bit of goal scoring form at the moment. Let's see if he can get another one in this one. He's certainly trying fair play to him. Coming to the half hour point, still one nil. West Ham not really pressing against our defence or anything. Hold on. We got a penalty, we have. And Sabea puts it away. Yes! Said Sabea goal scoring form. Mainly penalties of course, but still they all came. So we approach half time 2 0 up, happy with that would like a third to be honest with you because 2-0 two, two is a dangerous scoreline if you give a goal away not looking likely that we're going to obviously but still I definitely like a third just to be certain I know what this game can be like it's a bear looking for the error unlucky Sub now. Lise on the volley, unlucky. Bakaraglu getting close there as well. Looking for his goal on his return to the team after injury. Have a little look for Sal, is a bit knackered. Let's give Krejci an eighting. Bakaraglu just back from injury. Let's get Ishizaki on give him a little bit of relief. 
so it's not too much too soon for him. Tony to put the game to bed. Happy days, big man gets in there again. This is a massive three points for us and three goals in the. Hold on. Oh, I was going to say four goals. Four, three goals in um, our goal difference as well. This does play a part towards the end of the season, I bet. Okay, this gives Sabaya a bit of a rest. He's earned it. Matt Mami gets the opportunity to play in centre mid. They almost took their chance there. There's no no way they're going to get back into the game or anything like that. But obviously we want the goal difference. We want to clock as much as we as we can on that. So two three nil wins so far, and we go on to Crystal Palace in the next game. What does that do for the league table for? It keeps us in six, but we're starting to get a little bit of light between ourselves and the teams below. The next game could be crucial, absolutely crucial, if we want to finish in that top six spot or top five is what I'm aiming for right now. But twelve wins at twenty five, we're looking much better now. Crystal Palace are the next team. We'll see you at the game. And guys, uh, just a bit of transfer news. We sold Lee Clark afterwards and we ended up picking up Stephen Hughes from Watford. He is a very talented central midfielder and he will build upon his current stats over the next couple of years, I feel. Uh, his long shots, his ability from long shots, his passing, his creativity, pretty much what stood out to me. Technique, teamwork, set pieces, stamina, flair. All round, a very good centre midfielder, and I'm sure he will be an asset. Final game of the episode, guys. Hughes is on the bench for this one. Uh, we're going with Tony Vassal at front, Bikini on the left, Bakaragu on the right, Sabia, Elise. They're pretty much restricted on every position for what we've got, except Gav Barry is fit, and so is Paul Ritchie, but J. Lo Samuel is the utility man, defender left, right, or centre. Uh, so that's pretty much where the team comes from guys let's kick this one off final game of the episode let's make it perfect episode if we make it the complete perfect episode we'll win with another clean sheet three wins three clean sheets that is the absolute perfect episode and there goes the absolute perfect episode with no day bollocks still plenty of time to turn this one around Starting to get ourselves back into the game a little bit. They started well, they did. Oh, come on, what the hell is going on? The crap. No way they should be doing this to us. Laying down and getting spanked. Absolutely dreadful so far, but a goal before our time could do us some good. Come on. Nope. Drastic changes, I think. I think for self crouch. Just to see what that does. See if maybe some high balls into the box can be a bit of a difference in this one.
change something in the midfield I think I'm going to go Sabia for Stephen Hughes goes with you Melberg is having an absolutely appalling game and so is Hagen I'm going to go Melberg for J Lloyd Samuel I know that's me making all my subs now but drastic drastic measures you know got to turn this game on its head they're the only ones creating chances and they got much poorer players than us what are we doing so we're already on attacking let's get some direct passing on the go get the ball into that box with the big men to lay each other off nod it on There's one back. Come on now. Don't let that be all that we all that we can conjure up now. Come on, get another one. Get into the box. Yo, oh, come on. Yes. Big man Luca Tony. He's done it at two two now. Oh my god. Come on, let's get the fucking winner now. Oh, I thought he was going to do it. Come on. Come on, 10 minutes to get this winner. Just wide from Curtis. Come on, we got another chance. There's got to be another chance in this. Another chance or two. Come on. be another chance in this no but at the end of the day the come back from 2-0 down to get the draw was still good must have done something right on the tactics the only problem is they're distancing themselves from us and we've allowed them below us to uh, to catch up on us crystal freaking palacy to halt us in our tracks from having a perfect episode I don't think we've had one so far this season not a perfect anyway but um well, we come back from two goals down to get the 2-2 to the show the fight that we got in this team. I just thought we could have done a bit better in that last 10 minutes, but could have done better in in the first hour of the game, to be honest with you. But there we go, guys. Let's, um, let's take this through. We've seen the league table. That's basically where it is right now. Next episode, we have Sunderland at home in the Premier League. They're a team that are close by, so a win in that game could do us great and we have the opportunity to be in a cup quarter final and another cup final uh, we should in theory win that and we're three goals for the good with the home advantage so we have got a foot in the final but let's not get ahead of ourselves on that anyway guys thanks all for watching this uh, series i hope you're all still enjoying it as much as i am um, as we say with the experiments uh, they do end up coming to a, a halt at some point with this as it's just a regular series this can go on and on so keep up with it guys i'm sure there's plenty more to come from this one thanks all and until the next time cheerio for now